Larissa Salichneva and Oleg Makarov. Third after the short. They were fourth in Calgary, but they were second in the world in 85. The fight for third place is very, very close still here. And Ted, interestingly enough, sometimes a disaster like this can be the most unsettling thing for any pair, as opposed to a brilliant performance, which is sometimes the catalyst for an excellent performance. First triple jumps we've seen in the competition, very good, very difficult, and an indication of excellent single skating. Brilliant throw double axel. Slight freeze there, should have been a double at the end, but still a wonderful throw double axel. Double axles with a double toe loop. Again, a problem with Canadian skating. We do not have this kind of pair skater which is able to do the lifts and the jumps as well. This is a fine example of the Soviet school of skating. And when they're on, they are as good as any couple in the world. program and that they are vying for a silver, perhaps even a gold medal. They cannot afford one mistake.
winding up for the end of the program. A few mistakes there, a few touchdowns, but certainly we'll have to agree this was quite a different pair than we saw at the Calgary Olympics. Sensational comeback, really, for them, not just from Calgary, but also from Cincinnati, where their short was disastrous. And we shall see, we'll be back for their marks after this. See, though there are five sixes in the first set from Canada, Australia, and Japan. The rest are superior, including the 5-8 from the United States and a 5-8 from West Germany in their first set of marks. And for artistic impression, very comparable marks, but they are the leaders right now, and the stage is set here. Only two Soviet pairs still to skate for a 1-2-3 finish by Soviet pairs. Well, here are the...